Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Crusader Kings 2 series where today we are of course playing as the Principality of Amalfi with our now 43 year old Grand Prince Buancant the Second of Amalfi and today my friends I am trying to remember what we did last episode considering I haven't played the game in well over a week now because of my vacation which some of you guys unfortunately did notice it on the last episode we did have on, well, last Wednesday, that I was kind of rushing through the episode, and I do apologize for that, but I was trying over the weekend prior to that, make a whole backlog of videos so you guys didn't miss anything while I was out away on vacation, which unfortunately, you did miss a thing because I could have sworn I made all the videos I needed, but apparently I was one short. <laughs> and that, of course, was Sunday's Crusader Kings 2 video. So I do apologize, guys, for missing that one. I could have sworn I had everything, but no, and my plane didn't land until Sunday evening, so... <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't time to get that out. So here we are, finally, and me trying to remember what in the world we were doing. Now, I vaguely remember we're in an economic trouble, which, um, <laughs> clearly, clearly that's a thing. And we do have some factions to somewhat powerful ones, which is annoying. And, oh, wasn't there something with the lecture? Yep, Urso family. <sighs> How is he so respected? How? The other families are so horrible and crap. How, how does he have any respect at all? Can I... Can I just... 58.5%. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. That is highly unfortunate. Hmm. You know, I've never tested out excommunicating and how that affects respect. Maybe we give that a try. <laughs> Because, um, oh, holy crap, they put a lot of money into their campaign fund. That is where all of his respect came from. 4,200 into their campaign fund. Oh, boy, I <laughs> I do not have those sorts of funds right now. Let's test the excommunication thing, because I, I, I never thought about that. I'm going to give that a go. I have no idea if that's going to do anything whatsoever, but, oh, well, the Pope can't say no. <laughs> Send. Who knows, maybe it'll do something, maybe it won't do anything at all, either way, it'll piss him off and that'll make me happy. Yay. Now, on the money front, I do know of one thing I can do, and I actually quickly looked at the comments on the last episode before jumping in here, and you guys had the same suggestion, which is good, so I'm not crazy. I was gonna set my retinue reinforcement rate to nothing, because that's what's costing me a lot of money at the moment, is we did just have a fight. I honestly, after a week now, don't remember what that fight was over. I think I tried to arrest someone. Did Do I have someone new in my prison? Do I have? I have two people in my prison. King of Leon! This is Leon territory. Yes, I, I probably tried to arrest him. He fought. We slapped him down. That may be it, or maybe I'm completely misremembering everything. And, uh, yeah, so now we're reinforcing troops. So we are gonna not do that. <laughs> we're just gonna turn it completely off. I'm, I was tempted to, you know, lower it down to half reinforcement, but frankly, right now I have enough soldiers for the time being. I'm just gonna, just gonna let it be. Now, unfortunately... By the time they get all the way back to Italy, they're, um, <laughs> going to be fewer. Maybe I don't actually have them go all the way back to Italy. Hmm. I mean, I do have to protect the homeland. I'm gonna at least leave you guys, like, here. <laughs> Keep an eye on the French for me, will ya? We'll, uh, let you do that. You, though... Yeah, I'm gonna send you all the way back home. Gotta, gotta, you know, protect the capital. Maybe. I mean, that's not really a thing I have to do, but I I just like having my main army in my primary area here, just in case a rebellion breaks out, and I have to squish the papacy, because he's, frankly, almost always a part of rebellions. Now, also on the financial front, I did want to check if the Pope... Uh, oh, I'm, I'm doing something else right now, so I can't do anything here. But actually, we can still probably check. Does he have... 
He does not have enough cash. Okay, okay, fair enough, good. Uh, let's see, that sucks. I wish I had more. Let's give out some titles to some people who don't like me. We only have one. <laughs> Who hates me and would actually make a difference? Let's actually go up here. Ultra Jordan, are you a part of a rebellion? Or a potential faction? You actually aren't, surprisingly. All right. Portugal? You probably are. Yep, there's Portugal. All right, here, have this. Have a couple extra points for me, please. I doubt that'll get him off my back, but oh well. And also, hello, we have the ability to to uh, imprison, potentially, the King of Galicia. He likes me, though, right now, and he's not a part of a rebellion. So I'm kind of okay. Let's just double check that before I say that for sure. France, Falco the Holy, the Pope, Portugal, Abyssinia, France again, Brittany, Aquitaine, yeah, 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 no, they're, they're, they're not a problem right now. Galicia is okay. I'll leave you be, sir. Because right now we're on good terms and <laughs> I don't need to poke a sleeping bear here. So let's uh, just close that and, well, oh boy, just unpause. It'll probably take a little bit for that, uh, ooh, hi. Oh, God, pause! Ah, crap, they're winning again. He got even more popular with excommunication. How does that work? <laughs> Seriously, how, how does that work? How... Oh, God, I need to kill you. Now it's gone down to 40. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to give it a go. And, well, I don't have the money to bribe the people I need to get in. Crap, this is bad about having this financial situation at the moment. Well, I mean, we can still plot to kill him. What the hell? And, you know, anyone who will join, maybe we'll get lucky. Auto invite. Ooh, and we can do the thing. Hold on, zoom in. Where is he? He lives in Amalfi. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, God, what's the one that I can use to help with my plots? Corruption uncovered, scheme. Yeah, I thought I could increase my ch uh, plot discovery chance. Plot, pa pa plot power increase. Ha ha ha! I need you. Oh, but I mean, I like stealing technology. Yeah, what the hell? I need this man dead. <laughs> Let's build a spy network. We need it. What are the? Let me just actually read that in full. Have your spy master focus his attention on the local nobles in a county. Increase the likelihood of intrigue events against them. Plot power increase 6.5 percent. Possible outcomes: vicious rumor spread. Eh, okay. Corruption uncovered. Hmm, okay. I can live with that. I can live with that. All right. Well, let's hope no one's trying to kill my guy anytime soon. He's 43 and young, so hopefully. Hopefully we can make it through it. Now, can I switch? No. Ah, oh, crap. Still almost three more years until I can switch. So I wanted to up this because, unfortunately, we're getting tax inefficiencies because I'm over my demand size. Oh, God. Maybe we do drop some things. I'm kind of holding on to some stuff right now specifically to hand over, though, to whoever my, you know, potential future is air is for taking Bavaria that would be good that would be good unfortunately I can't give to her <laughs> I would I would in a heartbeat but no but no god maybe I do give this one to someone to at least get rid of some of the tax inefficiencies and just have one over because the rest of them are kind of my you know Central things. This, eh, eh, eh. But who to give it to? Hmm, maybe someone actually that's in the plotting factions that once that's close, and me handing them a territory would make them happy. Yeah, you're all in the th ooh, forty-seven there. Who are you? You're Sind. Well, I don't know if I want Sin to have a thing over there. <laughs> okay, France. P 
Hope, no. Aragon, oh, Aragon, what you? You that? Yep, just that. Oh, he's got some stuff over here. Yeah, I might be able to get some points out of him with this. I mean, it might be horribly stupid, but I mean, uh, it would also increase his power, and if it doesn't bump him up enough, which the demence being too big is the big thing with him right now. So that would be negative 10 rather than negative 20 for me being currently two over. Huh. Oh, also, what's this? Your Highness, peace be with you. We would like you to back our plot to fabricate a claim against the Kingdom of Leon. No, I actually need him in my prison and I need his title to stick with him so he doesn't revolt. Decline. Oh, God. You know what? Maybe I just give it to some small little podunk person. Ooh, or just someone in my family. Just someone in my family. A random person in my household. My half-brother, who's technically not family. I kind of like it. And he doesn't have any kids, so when he dies, it'll probably come back to me anyways. Or, well, actually, whoever his new heir is. Yeah, what the heck? I'm good. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Of course, of course I can't give him anything. Why would I think anything different? Why, why would I not be able to give one of my own lands to someone who I want to give it to? Ugh. Damn it! Oh god, let's, um... Damn, they're up to 95 now. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it would be just best to give it to Aragon. It would pump him up to... Uh... God, I don't remember how much giving someone territory is. I would, you'd think, you would think it'd be a lot of points. You'd think. <laughs> you know what? Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. What the hell? Oh, boy. Uh, there's the one I can't pronounce. <laughs> 20. So it'll go up to his opinion. will automatically then go up to 57. Then... Also up to 67 because the dimension size too big will down be negative 10 rather than negative 20, which would take him out of being in a faction against me. All right, we'll roll with it. I don't like it, frankly, because I want to keep that for future plans, but oh well, we're kind of in a bad place right now. Have a barony, sir. All right, unpause. <laughs> oh, what is this? Peace be with you, the vile excesses of patrician something or other can no longer be tolerated. We agree that he should be... Oh, the Kex communication. Oh my god, I forgot about that. So it hadn't gone through yet. Now will it lower it? Slightly. Slightly. Not by much. And what's our decision? We can hold a grand tournament. I don't have the money for a grand tournament. Well, he got excommunicated. That's a thing at least. Can I do something against him now that he's excommunicated? <laughs> uh, in prison? <gasps> he's in prison now. And to the oubliette, I could execute him. <gasps> no one will mind because I excommunicated him. Oh my god. I just found the best way to get rid of my enemies. How did I never realize this before? I'm sure one of you in the comments right now is screaming, We told you this ages ago! Why didn't you do this? <laughs> well, he's dead now. Oh no! What a shame! In fact, what a shame! I need this money. <laughs> we have no other rival at the moment. <gasps> Plot to kill. Oh yeah, we're we're taking the fight to the Urso family now. Take that, you damned fools! How dare you even think you could compete with the great Maro family? That's kind of on a downslide right now because of monetary situations. But there we go! I saved part of my troubles! And look! One of the factions is gone now, and the other is small. <laughs> Yes, and my kinsman is Midas touched. Ooh. 
Hello, you may be one to watch for a potential heir later. Excellent! My god, things are things are going our way now. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, we're making money again! Yes! Yes! And a port in Ven Venice is finished! Which means more money. More delicious money. <laughs> and what is this? Oh, uh, Abyssinian likes me more. Perfect! The Abyssinian is still trying to... Yeah, he's still wanting to kill me. Maybe we excommunicate him. <laughs> Ooh, actually offered to join a holy war. Oh, no. I, I, I always forget that. Why do I always forget that I can't join their wars? Every time. Every time. Okay, pause real quick. I need to think on some things here. Uh, Duchy of Savoy usurped blah blah. Oh, God. You really usurped a lot of things. Good for you. Um, now I lost my train of thought. Oh, yes! I wanted to look at... Nope, nope, my stats. What's my piety? 468, you say? Seven... Almost eight per month gain? So I lose 50 piety every time I go to the Pope and ask someone for ex excommunication? So, uh... Does the Pope not like when I do that? <laughs> ask for money, he doesn't like that. But he's actually... He, apparently, he's fine with excommunicating people. Okay. Okay. I can roll with that. And he's still possessed. Good. Good. Still can't request more money. How <laughs> much cash does he have? Oh, only 1800 Damn you, Pope. Alright. Let's do that. Get our coffers up a bit. So we need cash. Then I can start... <laughs> Reinforcing my soldiers again once I have money. Oh, boy. Okay. I actually should probably move my spy now that that one guy is no longer an issue for me. Well, oh, no. We're trying to kill the new guy. So, I mean, he's probably there too, right? Yeah, he's an Amalfi. What is this? Uh, during a visit. To, uh, who are you? Your wife visited and now you want to be friends. Who are you? Okay, non-aggression pack. Sure, a wonderful idea. Tiny little mare of a podunk place I don't care about. <sighs> All right, glorious. Ooh, I lost th almost 3,000 people marching my army down here. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> okay, as she's growing old, oh, no, I don't care. She needs to learn on her own. All right. I've been spending more time with my wife, Grimhild, lately, and though, of course, we did not marry for love, I can tell it is growing between us. Good, because didn't she used to sleep around on us? I'm pretty sure at least that kid's not mine. Not that I care, because meh. What? <laughs> ah, marital bliss, I fall in love with my wife. Did she fall in love with me, though? Well, we're lovers and friends, so, I mean, there's a plus. <laughs> Have more children, then! Why do you have to be chased? Ah, uh, I'm surprised we even have two kids. Oh, no! One of my commanders was slain, alas. That means I can do a new commander's position. Or not? Wait, I thought the dude was slain. Huh, okay. Fair, fair enough. Hey, my co-conspirator has uh, procured a poisonous viper and sends word that it will soon dig its fangs into patrician Ansfried. Yes. Yes. Glorious. Now comes the time for the townfall of the Urso family. Soon, they will pay. Well, they kind of already paid with one guy. Failure! Ah, damn! Uh, a massive snake hunt is now underway, but at least... Hey, no one suspects my involvement. Perfect. We'll try again. Also, while we're at it, how big is this family? Nope. Wrong thing. Boop. Ten living members. My god, we could kill them off. We... We could eradicate them all. My 
God. Well, that's my new plan in life. <laughs> Destroy the Urso family. And then that way, my family will be the only one left that's been there since the beginning of our great empire. This one's the second oldest, I think. They, they were new some time ago, and these two are very new. And look at that. They're the only ones with a suitably large mansion. Wow, really? They still haven't finished upgrading everything? How? We did all that crap years ago. <laughs> like, a really long time ago. Oh, man, we've been pretty much coasting on this uh, manor for generations. Damn. What's this? I might have been too harsh to the courtiers at Amalfi, but Chancellor King Rorgun managed to calm them down and even like me more. Nice. Nice. Oh, look at all that. How can I ever reward you? Oh, I'm going to lose gold? Okay. So he would hate me five by five. Oh, he's a powerful one. Crap, I'm going to have to take that hit, aren't I? I really can't... Oh, is he in a faction? He's going to be in a faction, isn't he? He is, and this would get him out of that faction with a plus 15. Oh, I'm going to lose the money. Fine. <laughs> hey! Oh, wonderful. It's my favorite one of these. This guy, who I can't pronounce his name, my co-conspirator has sent word that a massive pit of manure has been prepared under the floorboards of an abandoned inn on a path Patrician Unsfried will travel with his escort. Once they are seated at a table, kaboom! I like that one. Explosions in the Middle Ages. Good times, good times. And come on, pop with a success. I need him to explode in a pile of crap. <laughs> Success! Yes! He perished in the manure explosion. There is no trace of my complicity, there we go, to be found amongst the rubble. <laughs> he indeed did go out with a bang. All right, that's nine more left. Okay, bye. Oh, 150, glorious. We're doing it. I'm destroying another family. It's wonderful. I like it. Actually, let's go here. Can we maybe... Let's see. Who... Oh, you're, you're all over there. You're there. You've changed houses. You're there. Hmm. Hmm. And sisters left. That's really... Oh, the air is this one. We could excommunicate him, too. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, let's pop, pop these out to see if there's anyone. Yeah, that's that kid. These ones are new dynasty. You are there. <laughs> You're dead. Oh, God, I really don't want to go through all these. They have nine members left. We'll just make our way through all of them. <laughs> Unpause. Actually, the kid would be easier to kill, but let's go for this one. He's the potential threat. Um, This name, the wife of Duke Belguti II of Samarkand, has been spending a few days in Amalfi. It has been a very nice experience meeting her. Maybe our people, yeah, blah, blah, non-aggression pack, yay. Good. Good. There's uh, this guy that I just tried to do the thing with. Uh, he's, no, he's against it. What a shame. Who are you, anyways? Eh. Eh. It's not really a shame, frankly. <laughs> okay, so we're gaining money at a somewhat slower rate than I would like. Oh, cash? No. Need more now. He actually has a fair amount of money. I wish I could just ask him for money at any point in time. Ah, my daughter! She needs things. Let's, uh... You know what? Duty to the family. 
that is what you do now. Hmm, Abyssinia has gone after them. Hmm, all right. Uh. Oh, that's too far away. You're on your own if there are people pillaging your lands. <laughs> Sind, you have been such a waste. I mean, really? You're being attacked right now? They haven't grown. They haven't grown. They have been such a waste. I mean, at least Kumania has taken land. So has Ultra Jordan. Uh, but no, but no. Sind? Sind has been a drain. The only reason I keep it is for the potential that it might have in, you know, Europa Universalis. We have a port to then hit more of Asia. We could control the spice. <laughs> uh, Cause he who controls the spice controls the galaxy! God, I haven't read Dune in a while. I should go read Dune. I should also upgrade you. Boop. You're affordable. Not while I'm doing bad, poorly on the economy, though. And oh god, I was paused for all that time. Son of a... Oh boy. Alright, alright. Once I get over a thousand, we'll reinforce our troops again. That'll be good. And for right now, let's just keep it be. Got that, so we can make some cash again. Uh, I really need to get rid of this other one, but I don't, I don't want to at the same time. It's all of my good stuff. Oh, hello. Lots of counselor. Oh no, my steward! And... 19... Oh god, you're the one I'm trying to kill. Well, at least while you're alive, make me money. <laughs> and... Just a member of my dynasty. Ooh, you'll be good at learning. Good for you. You'll be the scholar of the family. Okay. Oh, it was Null Fumpf. Did he? Oh, he died. Ha! Ah, poor Null Fumpf. All right. Oh, why did I click that? I don't know. Okay. I have tried to make mayor. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, that guy hates me more. Meh. Meh. He's maimed. He'll be dead soon, anyways. <laughs> oh, what is this? As requested, join the Knights Templar. Who are you? Do I care about you in the slightest? I really don't. You have no importance to me whatsoever. Sure, go ahead. I could use the hundred piety to excommunicate some people. <laughs> All right, to you with bad news from Amalfi. Oh man. Now I do want to kill you, because you tried to squeeze extra taxes and you piss people off. Ugh. Man. Fine, I'm gonna be glad when you get stabbed. <laughs> oh look, a faction! Of course, a freaking course! Wow, that popped up with 80% quite quickly. Oh, France, come on, man! Oh, no, you're a new guy in France. The last one was who I was a bro with. You. You're just gonna be a my an annoying annoyance to me, aren't you? An annoying annoyance. Yes, that's exactly it. <laughs> oh boy. Well, oh, they already went down. Perfect. I've noticed that Duke Sinusello and Duke Hildegis are not on the best of terms. I'm um, gonna invite them for some quality family time. Family first! Yeah, sure, what the hell. With one minute left that we have. <laughs> ah, I had the greatest of times together. I am sure they like each other better now. They don't, do they? They're just pretending. Bastards. <laughs> you know, I guess whenever I do hand something over, I can hand over Seuss. I have done nothing with this crappy little city after all these years. <laughs> and just do that. Uh, you need to focus. Wow, you're all over the board. Uh, take Stabbery. Ooh, I have another. Oh, nope, nope, it went away. It went away. Yeah, that faction's still a pain. And we're at the half hour mark, folks. So, yes, you know what? I was worried about today, especially the financial situation, but we're recovering from that nicely. We discovered a beautiful new game to play by destroying the Urso family, which, hey, 
<laughs> I think's just swell. And, uh, yeah, we got rid of a lot of our faction problems. We have some new faction problems now, but... But overall, I'm quite pleased. Today has gone much better. But yes, that is going to be it for today, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next When Hopefully, I don't know, we'll do more of the same and get even better and hopefully make more money. But until then, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.